Hello, it's Nick. Today I will show you how to design interactive switch control in Figma. Here are two colors that I will use for default and selected state of the switch. First, let's create a rectangle. Give it a size 50 by 20. And set 10 for corner radius. Change default fill color to the first color. Now create a lips. Give it a size 26 by 26. Change its fill color to pure white. Position the ellipse on top of the rectangle, at the left edge of the rectangle. Now let's make visual design more dimensional. Select Rectangle and click plus in Effects section. Change Drop Shadow to Inner Shadow. As you can see, Inner Shadow casts a shadow inside the container. Change the shadow properties. Set white to 0 and reduce blur to 0 0.5. This will reduce unnecessary visual noise. Now select the ellipse and add a drop shadow. The reason why I use drop shadow for ellipse is that I want to communicate that its position on top of the rectangle in a Z depth. Change default shadow properties. Set white to 0 and blur to 5. Select both elements and frame selection. Create a copy of this frame. Select the ellipse in a copy and press Shift right arrow key to move it to the right. Position it at the right edge of the frame. Select rectangle and change its fill color to blue. Don't forget to change the color of the drop shadow to the same blue color. By doing that, you will make your design a bit more visually attractive. Rename the frames to 1 and 2. Select both frames and create a component set. Name the component Switch. Now let's quickly change the names of properties. In the left side panel, double click on the second variant. Type selected Yes. Change the first variant. Type selected No. Switch to the prototype mode. Select the first variant and create a transition to the second variant. Transition will be triggered on click. Because we named the properties selected No and Yes, Figma offers a nice visual indicator here. The animation effect for transition will be Smart Animate. Is out with the default duration. Click on the second variant and create a transition to the first variant. All properties will be the same. Time to test our design. Create a test frame. Navigate to the Assets tab and drag and drop switch to the test frame. Select the test frame and click Preview. Looks good. Let me know what you think about this transition in the comments. Thank you.